Well, this is LM Studio. This is quite possibly the most popular tool if you want to run an open source and local AI model on your computer. Now, while the AI model is going to be operated offline, it is also possible to make the model to be basically online. It is able to perform search on Google and then give you the latest and the most relevant information. Like in this example, I asked AI about the price of Nvidia stock and it went to Google and then gave me this answer. So this is possible because I'm using something called MCP server to let this model to use Google search and then read a bunch of content on the website and then summarizing the answer into this LM Studio interface. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up MCP server on LM Studio and will allow any models, actually not any models, but any models that comes with tool calling to be able to use search engine and basically get content from the internet. So the step number one that you need to do is you have to download and install Elm Studio on your computer. And after that, you have to navigate to node.js.org and this program is necessary if you don't have Node.js on your computer, then you have to download and install it immediately. This is basically necessary. This will allow JavaScript to be operated outside of a browser. And don't worry, this is not like a bloodware program. This is pretty much a very popular program among developers and it will able to perform a lot of stuff with this program. And also this program will only be used when it is necessary. So just download and install it normally like any other application. Now, after that, the MCB server that we are going to use is server.dev. Now you can use any other MCB server, but this one is quite easy to use. It is also giving you 2,500 free credits. So that's quite generous. Just sign up with your, with your email and then later you can get the API key, which later we can use in the MCB server setting. Now, after that, let's go back to LM Studio. And basically, you have to use a model that supports something called tool calling. If the model doesn't have a tool calling, then unfortunately, this MCB server is not going to work. Now, let's navigate to Discover. And you can download a model that has a tool calling. Here, as you can see, there are some models that are being recommended by LM Studio. And make sure that you select the model that do have this tiny hammer icon and that means this model can support tool calling if the model doesn't have that icon then that means the model is not uh, doesn't come with the tool calling capability but in this case i'm going to be using a model that is not being recommended by lm studio and that model is available via hugging face the name of the model is john person one edge and as you can see there is gonna be no hammer icon at all because this is basically an external model but i know that this model do come with the tool calling capability and by the way feel free to use any model that you feel is uh, much better and more appropriate for your computer i'm using this model simply because it's very small it's also decent and my computer is not powerful enough that's why i'm using this model but if you do have a computer that is quite strong then I highly recommend to use a slightly bigger model because the quality of the answer is going to be a lot better. Now, I'm going to select this John version 1 Edge. That's a very small model and also do support tool calling. And I'm going to download the 4-bit quantization version. That's just very, very small, only about one gigabyte. So let me click download. And after that, I'll show you the next step that you can do. All right, so the model has been downloaded and we can actually start chatting with this uh, model but it is not yet connected to the internet so even though it can give you an answer the answer is not going to be based on the most relevant information let's say i want to know about the price of apple stock today and it can give me an answer but the answer is going to be based on its running data and therefore it is not very accurate not relevant so we have to enable the mcp server first and to do that you can click this uh, range icon on the top right corner of the screen and after that you have to navigate to the program menu click install and click edit mcp okay just click got it and now you have to insert this code and don't worry i'm going to provide a code in the video description down below so you can copy and paste the full code into lm studio let me delete this press ctrl v and we're not done yet we have to change this first this is the api key from server.dev so let's navigate to server.dev again and i'm going to sign into my account and after that click api keys 
and click this button to copy the API key from server.dev. All right, let's go back to LM Studio. Let me just delete this, press Ctrl V, and there you go. Click save and just wait for a few seconds for this MCP tool to be initialized. Now, that's pretty good. And by the way, I do recommend to actually make sure that the model is allowing sorry you are allowing the model to access every tool without having to ask you first because it can be really annoying having to agree or confirm any action from the model this is just making things more convenient now technically you can start chatting with the model and it should be able to give you the most relevant answer or use the google search from server dev but there are a few things that we need to change in the model to ensure uh, consistency and better answer now let's navigate to my models and then here uh, as you can see i got this john version one edge and yeah it does have the tool calling feature now click this button it says edit model default config and there are a few settings that we want to modify first i do recommend to set the context length to be around 60,000 or above because from my experience usually if you set the context length to be too low ai might not be able to use the tool calling it's probably lose uh or forgetting something in the middle and therefore not able to use the appropriate tool calling so make sure that you are setting the context length to be a bit higher for me it is 16,000, but for you it could be different it could be something a little bit lower or higher but basically make sure that you are giving enough context length for the model for the model to operate now after that the second thing that i usually change is the prompt so the system prompt is right now empty so we have to insert something to guide the model when answering a question let me just go back to my browser and i usually use this system prompt for, for this model but feel free to use a different system prompt and this is also going to be available in the video description now let me just go back to LM Studio and I'm going to paste this right here. Okay, that's really good. Okay, let me just close this and let's go back to the main screen. Let's go, let's go back to this. Now, uh, let's start a new chat, I guess. And I'm going to ask the same question. Apple stock price today. And as you can see, the server search is enabled. That's pretty good. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that I do recommend to actually uh, pin the option for server search because when you are not doing that, then this option is not going to be always available. So you have to enable it manually. So I do recommend to actually pin that. And that's going to be an option every time you want to start a chat with this uh, model with the server.dev MCP. Anyway, let me just send the message and uh, let's see what kind of answer that it will give me. I just wait it is still thinking and it should be using google search there you go that's pretty good and later i'm going to double check using google and i want to see the price of apple stock and we'll compare it between the answer from this model via this mcp server to google all right it took a bit longer because it is a thinking model all right, it's 255, 256. Yeah, between that number, basically. Let me just go to Google and verify that information. Okay, that's quite accurate. So we can confirm that, yes, this offline and local AI model is able to perform search on the internet with the help of the MCP server from server.dev. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.